We are live. It's so cute. My little program says it's showtime. <laughs> hey, everyone. I see some chatting going on already. So good to see you all. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good evening. For some, it's really, really good morning. Oh, talking about the hurricanes. And now today is really weird here in Las Vegas because there's a big fire that is burning in San Bernardino County, California, which is really just a hop, skip and a jump. So we're, we've got that real hazy, dark, gloomy looking day going, but it's still supposed to be like 115 today. And I have to go out in it, <laughs> which I'm totally fine with, but my car isn't. That's the thing. And somebody's calling me right now. Let's just silence that. <sighs> spam. It's a spam call. Getting a lot of those. Um, yeah. So it's a just a weird gloomy day and it's going to be hot and I got to go out because I am going over to the antique mall today to do a little cleaning up and restocking, but also to shoot some booth tours for you guys that has been a big request so i'm going to do some updated tours of the booth um including my upstairs space which i haven't shot before and i am doing a big blowout sale in that booth so um before i do that i'm going to give you guys first dibs at stuff so i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot the video and that will go up on probably Friday. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Friday. Yes. <laughs> and, and then uh, you guys can email me if you see something or or comment, and uh, we'll we'll test the waters there. Um, just because I have so much stuff to deal with and I can't get it all listed. I'm just not humanly possible. I'm not, I'm not humanly capable. There we go. That's better grammar uh, of getting it all listed at this time. Um, I have two listers. One of them is just concentrating on clothing and soft stuff. And the other one comes here and does the hard goods and stuff. And she's fantastic. Um, but I've kind of overwhelmed her because I have been doing a lot of shopping, getting ahead on video footage so that I can take a trip this weekend. So I'm super excited to get to go back to San Diego and I'm going to go revisit some of my favorite stores that I went in last time, see what they have. And my little one is going with me, little one, she's 13. She'd probably die if she heard me calling her my little one. Uh, but she's my little one. She's going with, so you know what that means? Two extra check-ins and another carry-on. <laughs> I'll be able to bring home lots of stuff this time. So very excited. Very excited. Yeah, you know, getting somebody to help you in your business is a point you have to decide it. At what point can you not scale and grow anymore and then consider taking on somebody to help you? And because then while it does cut into your overall profits, if you can get more things listed and more things selling, overall you're going to make more. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I saw you. I saw you, Nikita. Nikita. I... I almost called you Natika because I have a friend named Natika and the spelling is only like one letter switched there. Uh, Trinkets and Treasures asks the question. My question today, what do you guys do about watchers? Do you do what eBay suggests and offer them a lower price? So here's my strategy. Every single day, actually twice a day, I go into my items that are eligible for offers to watchers and I will go in there and depending how long I've had the item listed will de determine what percentage I'm going to give off. But I do my pricing in such a way that I have allowed for that because if you're listing your items at what your 
bottom line what you want to get out of it is, then this isn't going to feel very good if you do this. If you list your items in the same way a retail store would list items, and that is knowing at some point you are going to start marking those down, then this is the perfect strategy and it's the perfect setup for what eBay has going for us. So that makes it easy to go in and do those offers to watchers. And the longer I've had the item listed, the stronger the offer is. So, and now things that I already have on sale, because I do push items that I have listed for six months, actually, yeah, six months or more, they go into my 50% off category and three months or more between three and six months, they go into my 25% off category. And then I just run the, the markdown through eBay. So even those, I'm going to give an additional five to 10% off to my offer to watcher because you have somebody interested. And if you can still make a decent profit, go for it. Go for it. The whole point of this business is to sell stuff. So you've got somebody interested enough to watch it. Make the deal. Make the deal and make some money. Now, if it's a super rare item and you know the value is you know, up there and it's one of those items you just have to wait for the right buyer, don't feel compelled to give a crazy offer to watcher to where you regret selling it. So just keep those things in mind. An offer to watcher works super good, super good. And list, list, list. Yes. More things listed, more things selling. Yes. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. It's a, it's a holiday. Happy Labor Day, everyone. I don't know of such things, except that, you know, I didn't have to rush to get any shipping done. None of my mods are in here today, are they? Well, Tri-State Picker Mom is there. Tri-State Picker Mom is there, and I don't know where the rest are. It's all good. You guys just behave, and then I don't need moderators. <laughs> They're only there in case we get some troublemakers in here. So, so Tri-State Picker Mom, it's on you today, I guess. you got to watch out for the troublemakers. <laughs> there we go. So here's something that, and I get it. First, I want to say, I understand. I have felt it. I get irritated sometimes, but we have to remember it's business, not personal. And it's just the, it's just one of the things in this crazy business we have to deal with is, you know, people are always going to ask. They're always going to ask, but I have actually turned some of those low offers into reasonable sales. So just keep that in mind. They may be under the uh, opinion that if they come in super low, that they're expecting you to counter and they just want to see where you're going to counter at. So, yep, yep. Ah, Teresa's driving home from her parents. Two hours, no video, but you have audio. Isn't that going to drive you crazy when I start talking about the stuff that I'm showing? Yikes. It would drive me crazy. I'd want to see it. I'd want to see it. But thank you. Thank you for listening. Don't get in any accidents because you look down at the screen. Picked up a blue sky gingerbread cookie jar for $4.99. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Annie P. You know, it's the only day I actually use the curling iron is, is for this. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't use the curling iron. And um, today, I burnt myself. I was going a little too fast. I don't like hot stuff. Yeah. I don't like irons. I don't like barbecues. I barely will cook on the stove. And I don't like electric stoves. And I don't really like curling irons, but there we go. Thank you, Darlene. Not a reseller, just love to watch and learn. But hey, maybe someday, someday you're going to need all that knowledge. So I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's helping. Yep. I'm just going to watch on the replay. Good, good, good. All right. Got a cork plate I showed the other day. Yep. Got the golfer, very fantastic. Love cork plates. 
basic to sign up and set up pictures on eBay. So Jenny asked if I have a video on a hundred on. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Like the, like the, the one one I gotcha. I got what you're saying there. Um, and set up pictures on eBay. Well, I have very, uh, something very exciting coming very soon. I'm doing a collaboration with Jeffrey Clark, who runs a group called the Sorcerer's Apprentice. And uh, him and I are kind of known as the eBay king and queen in the uh, Jim Cochran My Silent Team community, because uh, it's a big Amazon-based community, but we're the major eBayers in there. And so him and I are actually in the very last stages of um, producing a literally a step-by-step piece-by-piece to selling on eBay course that's going to be out soon and it's going to be very reasonable. So watch, it's just a matter of us getting the videos down because just when we get something done, eBay changes something. And so we have to go like redo that video and try to keep up with it. Ah! <laughs> But yes, coming soon, the piece by piece. Awesome, awesome. Oh, Sally, your neighborhood Goodwill reopened today from a remodeling. What are you doing here? Probably avoiding all those big crowds. I remember when the Goodwills were all closed down here for months and they reopened up and I was excited to go and they had lines around the corner. And then when you got in, it was like so crazy packed, busy. The line to check, I, I didn't go for a while. I didn't go for a while. That funky bird teapot is on my desk here to show you. And we're going to research it so you can learn about those. That, that question was from Janie Fogle. So yeah, see it. Trying to catch all your questions over here. What is this live? This live is, how do I explain what this live is? I'm gonna, it's kind of a haul. I don't show you, I can't show you absolutely everything that I buy. So I have picked out the choiciest, choicest stuff. And what I will do is research it right here live. You can see how I do the research and come up with my pricing. So that's mainly what this live is about. Which is, which is better, buy it now or bid, which is what Crazy Lamp Lady does. So you hear a lot of mentions of Crazy Lamp Lady, and I just want to give her a big shout out. Crazy Lamp Lady is my friend, Jocelyn Elizabeth, and she um, has built a business based on a big following, big, big following that comes over and bids on things that she lists. Now, I don't recommend starting everything on auction for those who don't have a following. Um, that only works for her because people know where to go buy the stuff. If it was left strictly up to eBay to send her customers, her prices would probably be much, much lower. So you have to keep that in mind. I think it is absolutely fantastic what she's able to do. And I'm 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 kind of wish I could have the confidence to start everything at four dollars and know, you know, that it would sell. Eh, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I do. I am listing some stuff at auction, um, but I list at auction at a price that I wouldn't have regrets if it sold for that. So I mean, that's like just a business model that she uses. So most items do better at a fixed price format, unless it is a really rare item. And the only way that person is going to be able to get it is if they bid and win. So that's a good auction item. I list things on auction that might have a little bit of damage to them. And I don't know how much that affects the market value. So if I had something that I was going to be able to list at $29.99 on a fixed price, but it's got a little bit of damage, I will start that item at like $9.99 or $14.99 and kind of see where the market will take it. And sometimes I do end up selling it for that opening bid and I'm okay with that. So you just have to be okay with wherever you start your items and knowing that that is where they might end. Um, 
most people want to come in, shop, grab what they want, and, and be done. So that's where the best offer feature works really good is because you give them that ability. If they don't like your price, they still want to buy it, they can make you an offer. And you can price your things accordingly so that you can take those offers. So my store is in a link in every single description of my videos. You can just click right on over. It's utterly good stuff. All right. Yes, we are live every Monday, every Monday. I actually have a surprise this week too. So to all of you who attended the live sale on Friday, um, I had so much fun doing that. It was such a blast. And um, I thought, I thought, oh no, what if I sell everything for a dollar? This is not going to be fun. And that is not what happened. So by popular demand, we're going to do another one on Thursday, this Thursday at 1 p.m. This Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time, we're going to do another live sale because I have so much more stuff to sell you guys. <laughs> and honestly, I'm selling it to you so you can go make some money on it because I don't want to list jewelry. I'm doing jewelry and small stuff again. You know, it's mostly jewelry. With, I, think I have like some old pictures I'm going to throw in and some ephemera, things that are easy to ship because I do have a certain point where you can get free shipping. If you spend $25, it's free shipping. So we're keeping it all easy to ship stuff. All right, let's see. What else am I missing here? And then we'll get into some stuff. Not selling yet, but learning what to buy. Awesome. Why aren't you selling yet, Miss Sunny? What can we do to get you selling? All right. Any new on the witch house? I don't know what that means, Queen Elsa treasure box. All right. My goodwill. Oh, I had a 50% off sale for everything donated. Ooh. I don't really, really like to go to the 50% off sales. I tend to stay away. I don't like the crowds. Uh, I didn't like the crowds before Cousin Rona. So it has nothing to do with that. I just don't like crowds. Yep. I barely do Disneyland, let me tell you. I'm reading. I'm sorry. I have to like read and talk at the same time or we just have all this dead air. Oh, wow. You walked out of Savers without anything yesterday. The estate sales you've been attending have better prices. I do like estate sales. I tend to miss them, though, because I, I'm not a good planner when it comes to going and shopping. That's what I love about thrift stores is like just show up and go shop. Um, the estate sales and stuff, you kind of have to like plan out your, your week a little better. Yep. Oh, Peggy. She also has a booth at the Antique Mall of America. That's where mine is. Can't wait to meet you there someday. I love watching videos. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know where your booth is. Yeah, let's definitely connect for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be there with my little camera going <laughs> today after the show. <laughs> I have an upstairs booth and a downstairs booth, and Peggy will know what I mean by that. <laughs> they have two levels at this end. It's not it's not really upstairs. It's like up like three or four stairs, you know, steps. But they call it the upstairs. All right. Which other online marketplaces would you suggest to sell higher end glass pottery decor items? And you know what? That is the perfect segue to something I wanted to show you today. So I am going to show you the marketplace that I absolutely adore for high-end items, and that is Cherish. Okay, so we're going to do that in just a second. And Miss Sunny answered that she needs to get over the need to research every aspect of how eBay works. Paralysis of analysis. Yeah, well, see, you already know. You've already diagnosed yourself. If you're not already over on my group, the Niche to Profit group over on Facebook, 
we help a lot of newbies over there. Um, and sometimes it is just getting those first things listed. So you've got very nice people over there, seasoned sellers, there's new people, old people. And I don't mean age wise, <laughs> I just mean in experience levels and everybody is very willing to help. Uh, my group is all about being very positive and problem solving focused. We don't allow any, any nastiness or judgment over there. So come join us. We'll get you going. I do still have the metal fish hang. I think. Which one are you talking about? The one I just bought the other day. I think that's one. The one that has like the little post hole thing on the back. All right. All right. I could follow the chat all day, you guys. Uh, okay, so let's go over. Ah, uh, thank you, Tri-State Picker Mom. There it is. It's niche to profit. Yes. Just go look for niche to profit. You will find my group. We'll let you in. Thank you, Meryl B. We try. We try to keep it really good and educational for all. All right. Okay, so Cherish... Is, oh, let me let me share my screen. I didn't set this up yet. One second. Stand by. Uh, allow. Okay. This is Cherish. And I'm just going to go full screen on this for you guys. So this is what it looks like. Now, Cherish is also a really fantastic site for looking at what designers are looking for. Cherish is a little different in that you cannot just list anything and everything. They curate the items that go up there. And what that means is they have people who will either approve or deny the item that you want to list there. So I found this really cool is this Brimfield is a big, big, big antique market that happens every year, maybe even twice a year. And I believe it is, is that Massachusetts, guys? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but so they did this little marketing here, um, the Brimfield Labor Day sale. Shop the market from home with exceptional discounts because everybody's about all the shopping from home thing. I don't know. Did they actually hold Brimfield this year or did it get canceled because of Cousin Rona? I did not keep track of that. Didn't keep track of that. Oh, you already know where my booth is. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go look. You have lots of pumpkins. Three booths. Are you three booths down upstairs or downstairs? Three booths down upstairs or downstairs? Going to have to go find your booth. Yay. yay. Um, so this is what it looks like. Now, notice how absolutely stunningly beautiful all the pictures on their front pages are, right? Well, that's something that Cherish does for you. They will take the first picture that you provide and they will make it pretty. Because if you click onto any one of the listings, you'll see that the rest of the pictures are just what the seller took. Come on, computer. We'll do it this way. And this, this seller took good pictures to begin with, but you can see the one that they absolutely made the whiteout version. But, yep. But you can go through, um, I mean, I kind of get lost in it, and there's, there's absolutely fantastic stuff. Just fantastic. But if you go and find something here, I'm wondering if I can get to the pink. Maybe I can only do that as a seller. So let me show you what the seller uh dashboard looks like all right so you get followers and what happens with these followers is there's a lot of marketing that takes place with cherish so anytime you put things on sale anytime you list a bunch of new stuff they'll send an email out for your followers to check out whatever it is you're doing which i think is so cool um, so their marketing, everything is just groovy here. Hold on. Where is, 
Here, the to-do, that's what I'm looking for. So they give you a to-do list. So these are things that they're just asking me to do. Grab a badge, grow your fan base, blah, blah, blah. See, I have not done any of this. Probably should, huh? Um, and then here's what it looks like when you create a listing. Now I'm just taking eBay items. I'm copying my title. I'm choosing a category that fits. A lot of times it's going in decor and it's going under room accents. And sometimes it's just decorative objects. And you can select two categories, no extra charge. You put your photos in and they even kind of help you with, you know, what to put in here, all the different things. And these are really things you need to keep in mind for eBay too. Primary image, front, side, back, angled view, another angle, detail view, another detail, top, bottom, maker's mark, documentation. I mean, that I love that little template, you know, showing you which pictures you should be taking. And again, it's 12, which is what you're allowed at eBay. So you can bring over the same pictures. I copy and paste my description from eBay into here. This is where kind of like eBay's item specific. So um, you can either put in a brand or if you know the artist. So let's say I'm listing a, a Murano bowl and I know it's a Fratelli Toso. See, they, they have a list here that you can choose from or you can put a styled after Fratelli Toso. Like if I didn't have this, I could put this. And if none of these come up as having anything, you can just do unknown, which is fine too. The style, try to pick a style that it goes into. They want you to pick something. And there's a lot of things in here that you can choose from. I'd actually like to do more of a, a deep dive into each one of these styles. And like, cause it's a weakness of mine and some like uh, abstract expressionism. Not exactly sure what all fits in that. I know Art Deco, I know Art Nouveau, I know Arts and Crafts, I know Asian. I don't know what Bauhaus is, if that's even how you say it. <laughs> um, Boho Chic, I kind of know what that is. I know Brutalist. I don't know what Campaign is. Coastal is kind of nautical, contemporary. And there's a contemporary and then there's a modern. So there's different things in here that I that I am a little weak on. Um, then you put your materials, the, whatever it's made. Let's say it's glass. You can even choose from what kind of glass. There's a Murano, there's Venetian. You can pick a couple um, colors, place of origin if you know it. And then you put your dimensions. You put the time period made and they break that down. Oops. They break that down into decades, or if you don't know what decade, you can put early 21st, late 20th, and so on and so forth, all the way down to 15th century and earlier. Vintage, antique used, or if it's a new item, but I don't list anything that's a new item over here. Um, original condition, unaltered usually what mine are. Some people restore furniture and thing and, and put it here. Detail. I mean, this is all basic stuff that you would do on eBay too. And then you get down to your asking price. Now, when you do your asking price, let's say I want to sell it for a hundred dollars. Okay. It's going to tell me how much I'm going to earn from that. It, they take, so here's the, here's the kick. This is what I tell people that are going to sell on cherish. Let me just come back here for a minute. If you're going to sell on Cherish, you want to get 20, about 25 items into draft before you go, you know, um, submitting them. And the reason for that is if you have 20 or more items listed, then your percentage you pay is 20%. If you have less than 20 items listed, it is 30%. So it's worth that extra 10% just to kind of get, and I say 25 because they're not going to accept everything. And it may take you a little while to figure out what type of items that they're going to take from you, okay? 
So we'll go back here. Um, you can sell something in a set, pair, or as an item. If it's a set, you want to tell them how many pieces are included. So for instance, a table and chairs is five pieces. And that would have been a set up here. Trade discount, you you can or you know can choose not to do this. I usually do a 10% trade discount. And what that means is that cherished buyers working in the interior design profession only get that discount. Um, it's just a special perk. They attract the designers to come and shop on Cherish for that reason. They have to be registered to get that discount. A reserve price is like, you know, the bottom amount you would take on an offer. So let's say I want it to sell for at least 80. They're again going to show me every step how much I'm going to earn for it. Now, if you know what the estimated retail price, the price it would sell for new is, you can put it there. If you don't know it, you can leave that blank. Um, you can put a SKU if you want. This is a place if you there's information you want to put there, like you know, even what you paid for it can be in the SKU, some in a code. Shipping dimensions. So I like to say add at least two inches on each side of the item for that. And then now you'll see I have an address here. That is not my home address. Uh, this is a local pickup option. So people can, but I don't really want my phone number showing. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, I get enough phone calls. Uh, so you put your pickup address. I put my church's address there just to be safe because I don't want to have my home address like publicly out there everywhere. All right, I'm scrolling past my phone number. I know you guys probably already saw it. Somebody could already grab my phone number. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, let me just check if there's any questions up to this point. Da, da, da. It looks like you have to list high end stuff on Cherish. No, not necessarily. I have items on there from $15 and up. Now, you do want to make it worthwhile to pay that 20%. It's the same philosophy I have with um, Poshmark. They're going to take 20%. I'm going to list my higher end items. But here's the thing. You get better prices here. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. You will like, okay. So let's say a Murano glass bowl that I could maybe get $50 on eBay. I can get $80 for it on Cherish. And, and I've had this happen over and over and over. It's because designers, interior decorators, guess what? They are spending wealthy people's money. <laughs> so, and that there's no shame in that. So it's just a different market. It's a different customer base and you can get better prices here. And you can list furniture here. And I'll show you that in a second too, how that works. All right. Going back to it, so you can say you'll allow local pickup from the address above. That's why you want to have an address. Um, so that is a personal choice. If you want to make it your home address, you can. Uh, you can also offer delivery. And here's what I do. I'll deliver, but here's what it's going to cost. It's going to cost $25 for me to deliver that item. And I have. I've actually done um, some deliveries, which has been really cool. Now, here's what I super duper love about Cherish. For those of you who are squeamish, where am I? Those of you who are squeamish about packing and shipping delicate, breakable, expensive stuff, Cherish has the answer for you. So have Cherish arrange shipping. You tell it if it fits in a box or doesn't fit in a box. Check this out. They have this thing called Cherish Drop Off and Go. It is 20% off the standard packing rates. Now, that is a rate you do have to pay this. But if you are selling a $500 lamp, are you going to be willing to pay $33 to go have it safely packaged up by somebody else? Heck yeah, I am. And then you just drop it off at the UPS store and all is right with the world and they get it to the customer. Or if you're confident, you can pack it yourself and you can also add in a packing charge if it's something that's going to take a lot of materials. 
which I love. I love this about Cherish. So, um, okay, we're not going to keep this. Let's go back. Um, so one of the other cool things is, and I don't have an example to show you, but when you sell something, they send you a packing slip that actually has a coupon on it for the customer to come back and shop again. And it, and it shows your store is the one they shopped from. So they're very likely to come look in your store again or your shop. And they give you the, um, the address label. You just print it out. It's on a PDF. You print it out, slap it on. It's all taken care of. All of that money is collected. There's no further bouncing around doing stuff. Just print it out and either drop it off at the UPS store for them to package, or you can package it yourself and just drop it off at the UPS store. So I love that about Cherish. Um, let's see. Let me come back here. I thought I was there. Let me see. Um, let me make sure there's no sensitive information here. I don't want to give away customer customer stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me, how come you're not coming off the screen? Oh, stand by. Why can't I? That is so weird. I'm trying to blow up the screen so that I can scroll it, but it's not letting me. I swear windows, windows, you make me crazy. All right, I'm going to trust nobody's going to go like look up tracking information. All right, so you can see this was now this was actually a, a drop off and go that I did, but I ended up um, actually I need to contact Cherish about this because I actually ended up packaging this myself, but they charged me for the drop and go. So I do have to uh, talk to them about that. But I sold this for $19. So I got $16 for it. Um, I sold this mid-century glass for $50. 40 of that was mine. You can see I sold the, now this was a drop and go. And you can see I did pay, um, not only did I pay the 20%, but I did pay an extra fee to have this all packaged up by UPS. And I was perfectly happy to do that. This was an item that I purchased at an auction for about 30 bucks. So I had enough profit built in to do that. Sold the geode bookend. This was um, a local pickup. I actually met the lady in a Wendy's parking lot. And now the thing that um, Cherish does is if you have a local pickup situation, they give the buyer a code. And so when you are meeting with that buyer, they give you that code so that you can get paid. So that proves that you met up with them. But you can see I get really good prices for things on Cherish. And I'm very, very happy, 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 happy with that. All right, I'll come back. So there's one more thing I just wanted to show you about Cherish. And then we're going to look up some stuff. Oops, where are you? My listings. I'm looking for, they have an area where you can see, I saw it a minute ago. Um, Come on, I don't want, I don't want you. Hold on, why is it doing this? It took me back to a page I did not want to be on. My phone is gonna chirp at me now. All right, just save that, all right. There is an area where you can see what has sold. And now I can't find it. Where is it? I saw it where we were at something before and um, I should have clicked on it then. Yeah. 
when listing shipping costs and you go weigh it and it costs less, the buyer paid, who gets the money left over? Personal choice, personal choice. Um, if the buyer agreed to the terms and they were willing to pay the price and it's not like a huge amount, you know, if it's a buck or two, that pays for any fees you were charged on that shipping amount. It also pays for your packing materials. So there's, there's actually no shame in that. All right. I do not know why I cannot find now the page that has, oh, I found it. Okay. Yeesh. It's called the pink pricing guide, the pink book. And so you can, you can either look something up or you can see recent solds and see the prices that they're selling for. Or you can browse by category. Um, a lot of furniture sells on Cherish, but we'll just go look in decor since that's most of what we would be. But look here, this is how many items have sold. And what's the time period? I don't know what the time period is. Cherish sells a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and they sell it for really good money. So this will give you an idea of what is selling. Oh, those are so cute. I like those. I like this too. But it's a lot of very designer. I like the term artsy fartsy stuff. <laughs> so even plates, look at that. So just, yeah, peruse, peruse over at Cherish and have some fun with it. If you find really cool stuff, um, no reason not to list it over there. Um, and it's super easy to, let me, I will show you how easy it is to take something down that you have listed. So let me go to my dash. Actually, I wanted my listings. We'll go to my listings. So I did sell a couple things on eBay that I need to take off of here. And I thought, oh, I'll wait. And I will show you guys how I do that. So this sold on eBay. So what I'm going to do, boom, boom, gone. And I sold, ah, there was something else I sold too. What was it? One moment, please. Oh, it was showing me all of my expiring soons. Um, there is no listing fee, but they do expire and you have to renew the listing and at that time is usually I'll consider um, marking it down, doing something to get more attention to it. I need to add a lot more stuff over here. I'm a little behind. Um, there was something else this I sold. I sold the whale tail. So we're going to delete that one. I think and that's how easy it is just to manage this guys. It's super, super easy. All right. That's Cherish. And I know I had a lot of requests to show Cherish. So what questions do you have about Cherish? And then we will move on to looking at some stuff and researching. Uh, Shop Girl, those are going to, well, I'm, they're going to get packaged up today and go out in the mail tomorrow. They will be going out in the mail tomorrow. Also, Shop Girl. Watch for an email from me. I have something to tell you. <laughs> How's that for intriguing? All right. I need to know how much to charge for shipping, even though I have listing with free shipping. My profit is not good. Okay. I'm not a fan of free shipping, especially for this reason. Don't do free shipping. If you are not very, very familiar with shipping costs, yes, you are gonna lose money. Here's what I recommend is that you use calculated shipping and all you have to do is put in the weight and dimensions of the item that you're selling. So for the dimensions, because you haven't packaged it up yet, I recommend adding at least two inches around every side of the item. So if you have, if I'm selling, this dish and it measures, stand by, 
It measures six inches by three inches. Okay, so it's six inches, six inches, three inches. I'm going to probably put in the measurements 10 by 10 by 8. I'm going to add extra padding around that. As long as you don't go over one cubic foot, which is the equivalent of 12 by 12 by 12, then dimensional weight doesn't come into play. You're safe if you don't get it exactly right. And then you put in the weight and add, you know, anywhere from eight ounces to a pound for your box and shipping materials. And then eBay will tell the customer how much the shipping is going to be. And you will be protected from losing profits. Okay. Uh, no, Cherish sends directly to my bank, just like managed payments. So they do not pay you until the item has been delivered. Once the item's delivered, you get paid. Now, keep in mind, everything's going UPS. That's one of the things. You have to drop your stuff off at a UPS store or have a UPS pickup. It's That's who they are contracted with so that they get really good rates for their customers. So it's all UPS and it's tracked very closely from the time it's picked up from you and it's insured. So, so it's, I've been doing it as you can see for a few years and been very happy with Cherish. Never had a problem with Cherish, knock on wood. <laughs> the minute you say that, the minute you say that, you name your price. You, it's you name your price. The only thing they do is decide whether or not it belongs on their site. But it's all your pricing. All your pricing. All right. Okay. Let's look at some stuff. <laughs> man, oh, man. I was having so much fun this last week with the stuff I was finding. Holy spumoni. Um, so remember a while back, I didn't buy it there. It was on the vases shelf and it was just this clear wedge. And I was like, what is that for? It's obviously not a vase. I don't know. Somebody suggested it was a bookend. <laughs> I found more only. I found the complete set this time and they are bookends. And they are so heavy. I'm going to tell you right now what these things weigh. I'm going to tell you right now. If I don't. Ugh. Yeah, they are eight pounds. They are eight pounds. So um, let's go figure out what they are. I have a suspicion. My suspicion is that they are some kind of mid-century glass like a uh, Blanco or Kanawa or one of those. They have that feel to them. Um, so let's look up glass bookends. Now I got 590 results. So I'm going to go straight over to, so, oh, I just saw them. Did you see them? Okay, if we can't find them in here, we'll go back. So this is better. 115 results. That helps me. Oh, there we go. These are, is that the same? I think that's the same. Their picture is just a little wonky. So that one sold for 70. Oh, see, they are calling them Blanco. Blanco, mid-century, half moon. There we go. There we go. That makes me very happy. $50 with $32 shipping. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out the best way to ship these. I'm leaning towards a flat rate on these. So this is when flat rate really works. Um, these are not real big size wise, so they'll probably fit. Worst case scenario, they're going to fit in the large flat rate, which I think is at around $15. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because I have not shipped flat rate hardly ever. But yeah, flat rate, that piece of cake, 15 bucks for shipping or thereabouts. And um, I will probably list those for 75 
because I will definitely put them over on Cherish for 75 or more. In fact, this is a good test. Let's go see if there's any on Cherish. Uh, I don't know if this is just in my, let's see. Blanco Glass Bookends. Let's see if Cherish has them. Cherish doesn't even have any. Got similar. See the prices though? Woohoo! Love me. Look, look at that. $140. They got them listed here. $158 listed here. $250 listed here. Have any sold for that? I don't know. Here's a pair for $64. But you can see, you can definitely list them for higher money over on like, I don't think they're, oh look, here's what's cool though. I can absolutely verify that they are Blanco because, where'd it go? There's a picture with a sticker. There it is, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see. There's the, the Blanco sticker still on this set. So that just tells me Blanco and they made in 1980s so you can get some good information off of Cherish as well because the stuff is usually described a little better. Yep. Oh, it's around $21. So it's around $21. That's still okay. Well, we'll still go with it. $21.80. Wow. $21.80. When did they when did they jump it up that much? Oh my goodness. Come on, USPS. I may go FedEx with them. I don't know. That one I'll uh, I'll research the best best case scenario. Exactly, Liz. You just I don't I mean, hike the price sounds so negative. We are in business. It is a business strategy. So there is nothing negative about pricing your stuff at market value. And honestly, it's either going to sell at that price or it's not, and if it doesn't, you can always lower it. That's the thing, you can't go back up once you've listed too cheap. 2180 sounds like the retail rate. Yeah, possibly, no, no worry. I just want I just want to help with the mindset on that, is that a lot of you feel bad for pricing your stuff higher, and you don't need to feel bad. You're in business, you're, tell me, okay, anybody doing this full time? Raise your hands if you're doing this full time. Um, or even, you know, part-time with a full-time job, you know how hard you work. You know how hard you work. You know your margins. They might seem like big, giant margins, but by the time you have shopped it, you have brought it home, you have prepared it, you have taken pictures, you have listed it, you have packaged it up, you have gotten it into the mail. There is a lot of time involved in that. And you have to know what your time is worth. Your time is not zero value. You can totally turn this into a full-time job. Totally turn this into a full-time job. That, that, and a lot of people tend to get like upset with some of the information and the, and the advice I give and, but they're not full-time sellers. And uh, I am teaching people to make this, not a career, that's not the right word, uh, a full-time income. You know, I work with a lot of retired people on social security who don't have the option to go get a job again at, at anything that's worthwhile to go out there and get. And I work with a lot of women coming out of really bad situations where they don't have job skills. They can't go get a job that supports them. This is a job. I don't even like to call it a job. It doesn't feel like a job. This is a business that can give you whatever lifestyle you want to have. That's the beauty of it. So what the beauty of it is, and I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, okay. That's, that's what's so important about knowing market values of things. And what I like to encourage is that when you are researching, and we're going to research some other stuff here. When you research and you see things at a high end price that have sold and at a low end, make sure you're pricing at the high end. If everybody followed that rule, do you know what would happen? The value of stuff would go up. 
um, far too often eBay likes to promote lowering prices and lowering and, and showing you other things, other similar things that are, you know, at a lower value. And they're sometimes sending the buyer over to a lower price thing. That, that race to the bottom mentality is going to kill us all. So the more sellers who price up at that higher range, the more we trick the eBay bots into realizing that this is the appropriate pricing for these items. And also the rarer it is, the more you get to set your pricing. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't feel bad. Sold a jigsaw puzzle for $35 plus shipping. Don't feel bad. That had value to somebody of that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Need to learn more about tax on home business. Scary for me. No scary. You just need information. Nothing. Nothing to be scared of. It's just the thing that you need information on. Again, it's all it's all up here. We talk ourselves into making this stuff into being scary and not doing it and not jumping full force into it. No scary. No scary. You're not in it all alone. You have like this whole community of sellers that are so willing to help. So don't be scared. You need to make enough profit. Exactly. It's not how much you sell. It's how much profit you make. I'm getting all these notifications all of a sudden. Okay, stop. YouTube, killing me right now. You can't see them because I'm not sharing the screen, but they need to go away. Yes. All right. People will only pay what they're willing to. You'll soon find out if your prices are too high, you'll have no sales. And again, there are strategies in place. Like I said, I have a 50% off category. I have a 25% off category. I do offers to watchers. There's all those different ways to lower your price. But once you've listed it, you can't raise your price after somebody buys it. So you'll never know if you could have gotten more, right? Right. All right. So I got these. I don't, I guess I'm on like a coaster's kick, but these were just really super interesting to me. They are half marble, half wood. No names, no nothing on there. Um, so I'm going to try to figure out. I did pay $3.99 for them. So let's go see what they are worth. So all I know is that they are half wood. And I'm just going to say half wood coasters. Notice I didn't put in the half marble yet. Don't need to. Um, I'm going to go and look in here. Because right now all I'm trying to do is identify them. Oh, what is this? No, I thought this was of the other part and it was just a bad picture, but no. Okay, that's what somebody could use to make these. All right, so I'm going to take out the half and I'm going to put marble wood coasters. Hey, there we go. Now I am in actives and we know that actives do not reflect the actual value. It's what somebody's asking for it. But what I can get is a whole lot of information off of this because what they're telling me are different things like they are acacia wood. Oh, these mango wood. Okay, so I'm not going to use a type of wood because I'm not exactly sure what type of wood these are. But I'm going to go to solds now and see what they have sold for, if any. So Marble and Wood Coasters, $10. See, I think they're worth more than that. So I am not upset that I'm finding these results. Doesn't phase me. I'm going to say, because I'm finding ones more like this and this, notice this has $41 of shipping in there. Um, I'm going to list these probably at probably around $35, like $34.99. I'll list them at $34.99 with best offer, free shipping. Now, not free shipping, calculated shipping. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that. Um, so I paid $3.99, right? 
So I got $4 into them. I'm going to price them at uh, $35. So if I end up having to take $20 or $25 for them, I still make a nice, healthy profit. That's the name of the game. Is, is Yvonne still here? Yvonne, are you still here watching? I have a piece of glass that I'm, I bought it and I said in the video I bought it just because I wanted to figure it out. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I Could it be like, what is it, fire and ice? Fire? Yes. Is this, am I, am I way off base? Did, was I just dreaming? <laughs> I don't know. This, um, this is odd. It has, like, I can feel a little bit of texture on the bottom, smooth on the top. I can see all those little bubblies in there. So, I don't know. It was just very it's kind of made very crudely yeah it's so um looking this up on my own okay so it looks like so it's fire and light I, why do i want to say fire and ice it's fire and light um so let's look at recycled glass i'm going to show you my screen why aren't you typing? Come on. <laughs> Recycled glass. Now, I don't know if it's a dish, bowl, whatever. I'm just going to go with this. Whoops. Let's go into solds. Where's my solds? Here we go. Still got 4,000. So I'm going to go into pottery and glass. Still got 1,700. I'm going to go into glass. Ah, 1,600. Let's go into art glass. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, well, at least you can see some of this fire and light stuff as long as we're at it. Now, I am sorted by highest price first. Do I have that screen big enough? We'll go a little bigger for you guys. I just wish I could just scroll and just do one little section. There's got to be a way to do that. Did that make it bigger? Come on. Hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, make it a little bigger there. All right, so there's a very nice piece of fire and light. Who wouldn't like to find that one in the wild? Yeehaw. Okay, so yeah, see, I so I was I wasn't wrong that it does have a little a bit of a texture to it. Yeah. Wow. Got to find some of this. You know what, that red plate that I passed up the other day kind of had that look. I probably should have looked closer at that. Nice, nice, nice stuff. See why you wouldn't want to be looking for this fire and light stuff? Whoo! Wowza, yowza. Pretty fantastic. I'm just, I'm going through this so you guys can be on the lookout for this stuff because I know this is the type of thing that that person working at Goodwill has no idea what they have in their hands and they're slapping a $1.99 or $5.99 price tag on. You know it's happening. Some pretty fantastic stuff. Look at I'm still in the over five hundred dollars on this stuff. This is crazy. Wow. Yes, and thank you, Yvonne, for bringing this to my attention. Yvonne has a channel called Yvonne Thrifty Rich, and she does thrifting videos, and she's the one who pointed this out. And she does haul videos. If you like haul videos. Okay, so obviously we can't sit here and go through all 1,600. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get down to blues. 
Now remember, I didn't search for fire and light. I simply searched for recycled glass. So I'm gonna get down past, sorry. Sorry to make you dizzy. Wow, this stuff sells so good. I'm just trying to get down to where I might find my bowl. This is crazy. Look at these prices. I'm just blown away. I'm going to go out and look for this stuff. I'm literally going to go out and seek out this stuff. I will find it. I will find it. I'm going to be at the antique mall this afternoon. I'm, I'm going on a hunt. I'm going on a hunt. <laughs> All right, I'm still not quite seeing what I have. Holy moly. Recycled glass is in, I am telling you. I bet there's even pieces that could be flipped right on eBay because people don't know what it is. If you could find it, not called fire and light, if you could just find it, you know, do a little browsing under... Well, it doesn't just come in blue, it comes in everything. Um, like textured glass, speckly glass, use some different words. Yeah. Oh, does it have a signature? Do they have signatures? Hmm. Remember, I'm catching only little pieces of your conversation over there. So I am just blown away that there is so many results for recycled glass. I'm going all the way down to, gosh, this is an item. Okay, this is a perfect example. I do not know what I have. I still do not know exactly what I have. And I will list this in auction format and I will start it at $9.99. Now, if it turns out that it's like a $300 piece of glass, there's no way it's going to sell for $9.99. There's no way. It's going to go up to a price that I'll still be perfectly happy with. And then the person who got it, who knew what it was, more power to them, they can go make money. I don't have a problem with that as long as I get an amount that makes me happy and makes me money. So that's what we're going to do because I still really don't know anything about it. I'll list it as, now I don't know if, I feel pretty confident listing this as recycled glass. Um, and I will put speckled, textured, bubbles. I'll put, you know, a bunch of those little keywords in there. Yeah, it is pretty. It is pretty. Look at the, the edges kind of have a glow to them. Um, so yeah, so it's a perfect auction item. The other piece of glass I picked up was this piece that just super duper caught my attention by how vibrant the color was. And again, I don't know what I have here. I honestly, you know, normally I'll dig in a little bit more, but for the sake of time and being on a live stream, I can't really go into the whole search I would use, but it's shaped like a flower. It, this was $5.99. I did pay up for this one. Um, it's shaped like a flower. And so I would just start, start my search with, let me go up to the top here, um, glass flower bowl and see what happens. And I'm still in art glass, which is, I'm okay with that. I'm actually going to sort by lowest first until I know what it is because I don't know what it is yet. I'm just looking to identify it first. It's not that. And I learned what it's not too, you know, kind of going through. Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking at going, what, 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 what? A piece of blue opalescent sold for $2.25. What? <laughs> that always kills me. Anybody else have any ideas what this is? Oh, this is just killing me, you guys. $3.25. Oh. 
It's a travesty. See, if you priced your stuff like that, nobody would make any money. Ah, look at, look at, look at, look at, look what I found. So I have now identified it. Do I take this price as gospel? I do not. I, I do not accept this price. So, oh, it's a Matt's, it's a Matt's Jonathan. I would think it would have a signature. Ooh, let me look. Is there a signature? I didn't see a signature. Huh. It's definitely that's the, the that's the same bowl. So I'm gonna go Costa Boda. Now watch what happens. Costa Boda glass water lily. I'm not sure I'm spelling water lily right. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. So water lily may not be the correct term. So let me take that out and put, I'm not going to put the full name. There we go. So doo, doo, doo. guess there was a few different ones made. I'm going to go back and sort this way, my favorite way. Um, so that's a larger one. That's a sunflower. I was thinking it's a $25 piece. So let's go over here. See what's listed. Water Lily Monet textured glass flower bowls. Well, that's way cool. So it's $29.99. So there, I've just figured out what my item is by putting in some very simple terms. And I've done some rough research and I now know I can list this at 24 to 29.99 very easily. And so I paid $5.99. So let's say, let's just say $6. And let's say I sell it for $20. Let's say I do an offer and I, and I do $20. So that is a $14, had to think a minute, $14 margin. Now I've got to pay my fees out of that. So figure another, say $3 comes out of there in fees. So that's $11 profit, which I, my goal, my, my, my minimum goal for a profit is $10 because you figure if I have 15 to <clears throat> 15 to 20 minutes into it, that's about 30 bucks an hour that I'm making, right? That's exciting. And then this owl. Did you guys see me pick up this owl mug? I mean, it was just sitting like this and I saw the color and then turned it over here. And we've got GTO Mexico. Um, it was $1.99. So I need to figure out who GTO Mexico is. Obviously, it's more than just a generic piece. It's got an artist in it. It's actually really well done, too. So I'm going to put in GTO Mexico. Remember, put in what you know. And there we go. What? <laughs> I like that being like the first result I see. But yeah, 20 bucks is probably more realistic. So let's go to Sold's. 1650 couple of sold cheaper now remember I see this I acknowledge this but I am more excited about this and the fact that somebody is willing to pay higher now I did realize it's got a little little bit chippy on the handle I mean on the rim um, I would probably list this at 1999 with best offer 1999 Another mug that I picked up, which just caught my attention, was this guy. And you'll see sometimes on these mugs, it'll tell you who the art is by. And uh, it was really funny. I got a comment telling me that I seriously doubt Alexander Calder would have licensed them to use his image. But uh, I will tell you all the information is right there that the estate of Alexander Calder absolutely did give the artist rights in 2002 to make this mug. Um, and this is, well, you know what? It doesn't matter the particular name of the art. 
Alexander Calder. I'm just going to bring up Alexander Calder and show you first what the art goes for and why a mug like this will bring good money. So you can see Alexander Calder goes for some really good money. Look at that. Right? So somebody who is a fan of Alexander Calder <laughs> mugs. <laughs> Mug. There's no results. Let's see if there's any listed. Couple listed. Well, would you look at that? $75. Now see that's that's unrealistic. I don't see that ever in a million years selling anywhere near $75. But then we get down here. There's only three listed. I will list mine at $29.99. I will list mine at $29.99. It'll, it'll bring 20 plus. It'll bring 20 plus. I don't know if guys, if you can hear it, but my Rottweiler, my old lady, Zena, she's downstairs dreaming. And she's making these cute little barky noises. And I bet she's actually like running. <laughs> she's missing the days of her youth. Okay, I had a lot of people ask about this. I was so excited when, this is the second one of these I have found in the wild. I'm gonna take the lid off so that I do not break it. I will show you a close up of the lid. It is these crazy, goofy, teapots and they're modern these are not old what's inside there i hear something you know what? i hear something rattling in every one of these that i get um on the base you can even see where the original price i believe was 19.99 was probably sold at like a target or something like that it's made in china this is one of those absolute exceptions to the you know what it doesn't say Linda Swack on it, a Linda Corneal on it, like most of them do. This one is actually marked Blue Sky, which I did not know. I'm just finding this out, and I wish this would focus. Oh, just FYI, guys, you're going to like this. I won't have it in time for the next sale, but I'm getting this new macro lens camera that's going to fine-tune focus on stuff. Um, this is very interesting because I actually didn't look at the bottom till just now. And I thought, put on there. I thought this was the uh, Linda Corneal. I'm going to put you back over here. So now let me, I'm going to show you what I thought it was. This is the only way I know how to search it. There we go. So you can see. The Linda, Linda Corneal teapots are that funky, but I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Let's go look at Blue Sky Teapot. I might even be happier. <laughs> uh, no, it's not Blue Sky Blue. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Blue Sky, Blue Sky. Nothing but blue skies from now on. Okay. I don't even see this one. Oh, look at that fish. That's awesome. Yeah, see, we're not finding our girl. That means I get to set my price. I get to set my price. Um, let me go back over to these. Now, I'm going to look in collectibles and see how high people are listing blue skies for. So it looks like 65, 75 is a good range. Those are new. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. So awesome. I'm not showing my screen. I am so sorry. Gosh darn it. I hate when I do that. All right, so let me just go back. I was looking at the solds for the blue skies. Blue sky teapot, you can see the range were in there. 
Yep, yep, yep. And then I went to see what... I'm going to put bird in here just to see if I can find this one. See if I can find the goofy bird. So there's that one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna list it at 75. 75. 75. Maybe like 79.99. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot to like share my screen. I hate when I, I wish you guys had like a zapper. You could zap me when I do that. Yep. Now it's a bird. It's definitely a bird. It's definitely a bird. It's like a dodo bird. Yep. I know. I wish you had I could push a button to get my. I know. I wish you could too. <sighs> Oh, GTO is Guanajuato, Guanajuato, Guanajuato. I think I'm saying that right. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so bad. Actually, because that's the curse of having two screens, because when I'm looking over here, I can't see the chat. So I was like in my own little world. I just have to remember, like, pay attention. Okay. Then you may have seen, did you guys see me pick these up? Or is this on a video you haven't seen yet? Forget, I've edited a lot of video that may or may not be visible yet. Did you guys see me pick these up? Or is that, that on the upcoming? See, if it's on the upcoming one, then you get a little sneak peek, something else I bought. Uh, it, it might be on part two. All right. Well, guess what? You get to see. So I'm perusing the mugs. Oh, you haven't seen these yet. Okay, well, you get to see them now. So I'm perusing the mugs, and I see these. I, I peeled one. I peeled one so you can see what it looks like. So they are peacocks. And, of course, I mean, I was drawn to them immediately. Um, they are this 222 Fifth brand which I have had good luck with. It's the same as those, those plates that I bought. The, um, you guys saw me get the plates right with the black chandeliers, right? Did you see those? I don't know. See, it's so hard if I do this, if I do the videos ahead because I forget what you've seen and what you haven't. Um, so anyway, I see these two mugs sitting on the shelf. And generally I will... I will be torn on whether to do two mugs versus is it enough to really bother with and et cetera, et cetera. But when I look up and I find two more <laughs> and I have a full four mugs to go with, then I'm a happy camper. Now I still don't know what these bring, but they are peacocks and Peacocks generally sell really good. Everybody likes peacocks. Is there anybody here who doesn't like peacocks? Let me just see. Oh gosh, maybe the black chandelier plates are on that video too. It's coming out soon, I promise. My bad. See, I'm having to do video ahead because I'm taking a trip. And so I have to get all of my videos up and scheduled by Thursday before I leave. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving on Friday, so yeah. It's a lot of, it's a lot of extra I have to get done. Okay, so we've got these. We're going to go look them up and I will remember to share my screen this time. Ah, there we go. All right, these are 222 fifth. I'm just going to show you this brand first before mm -hmm. I narrow it down into the mug. Obviously, we've got a lot of results here, but let me go to souls right here. Okay, so you can see this stuff is this stuff is selling. Now look, they do this peacock. Ooh, peacock garden. Ooh. Oh, spring blue. I love research. You guys love research. I mean, I, this is literally on camera and off. This is what I do when I research. I'm like, ooh, I like those. Ooh, I like those. <laughs> but you can see it's a good brand. So now I'm gonna put mug. Let's just look at one singular mug. Or we'll look at a set of four. 
because eBay just wants to show me everything. So you can see now why I'm saying like a set of four, a set of four is going to do quite well. And I haven't even gotten to the specific one yet. But this is a good brand. They make really pretty stuff. Now, this is not called Peacock. This is called Lakshmi. I guess that's how you say that. Let's let me see if there's any. Here we go. So this is what's interesting. So this seller sold four for $19.99, but check it out. This is an individual mug. This is an individual mug. And that's an individual. Even the lowest price, four times eight is $32. So this seller cheated themselves. This is exactly what I was talking to you guys about. This is a perfect example. This set of mugs would have sold for 30 bucks. It would have sold for 30 bucks. No doubt about it. Um, the fact that they sell for $15 each pretty easily. This is a $59.99 set of mugs. Let me go back here. So this is better, $39.99. But I still see these, these sellers. This is a little frustrating because you saw one single mug will sell for $15. And yet sellers are going to keep listing them lower, probably because eBay's telling them to list them lower. I might just list these as individual. I might just list them as singles and sell them for 20 bucks each. That might be what I do. Might be what I do. I can decide on that. But I paid. Now I got to bring me back to the screen. Paid 99 cents. So it's all good at the end of the day, right? All good at the end of the day. I also, oh, I picked this up, which is a little out of character for me. And so you know what I was thinking when I picked this up, right? Looks like either Fitz and Floyd or Blue Sky. Um, but it is neither. At least I don't think so. It has a modern, I'm just looking to see if I missed something. It's got a modern sticker, but it's been scratched off. So I don't know what that would have said under there. Focus, come on. Hate when that happens. Come on, focus. Trust me, my focus is going to get so much better here pretty soon. Um, it is a candle holder. So she holds one, like a tea light candle which I thought was interesting, which made me also think it could be blue sky. So the way we figure that out, I'll share my screen. What I know about her, I'm gonna put her safely back over here. What I do know about her is she is a swan candle holder. That's what I know absolutely 100% for sure. And I am gonna go to souls to have less to look through. And right now I'm just trying to identify. So swan candle holder. Now what I could do if I have like an idea, say here's a Fitz and Floyd. If I have an idea of who I think done it, um, you can put those words to verify. Yeah, not finding. So I would put in blue sky. Why not? It's the worst that can happen. You're going to show me a mermaid. <laughs> Let's go over here. No, nothing. So this is one of those things that I could either sit here and try to search through all of the candle holders. I probably, let's see. If I narrow it down a little bit by category, I can 
probably say what the material. No, see, it's an item specific. I wish they would give me. Let me say porcelain. All right, let's say porcelain. Gives you less to look through. But again, then you may you might miss what it is if you narrow down too much. So yeah, these are totally not the same. So just on what I know about it, I will list it as a large swan candle holder. And I'll put, oh, you know what? She's got holly on her. She is Christmas. She is Christmas. So, and I would probably list her for like, either $29.99, $34.99, somewhere in that range. Yep. Oh, do you, do you like swans, Yvonne? Are you a, are you a swan person? So, okay, so then I'll just give my, my, my swan story. So I'm a big, big Disneyland kid. I grew up on Disneyland. I have worked at Disneyland. My brother, has worked for Disneyland in some capacity since he was 16 years old and he is now 55. Um, so we are a big, big Disney family. And um, one of the cool things is they had a pair, a coupled pair of swans because swans mate for life. And they had a pair of swans that lived in the little, as you cross over the bridge to go to the castle they had their little swans and pretty much every year they had babies and I got to follow like the entire life of the swans. And I knew that I went one time and there was only one swan of the couple. And I knew, I knew something bad had happened. And sure enough, so there's no more swans at Disneyland. No more swans. It's very sad. Mermaids. What about mermaids? Mermaids are cool too. I have mermaids in my bathroom. Because I don't know, that's just where mermaids need to live, right? Okay. Yep. Oh, so I I collect the super obscure Disney stuff. Like nothing mass marketed. So and I only have a very small collection, but I have I have the little disc that made the fire in Mr. Toad's wild ride. When they redid the ride, I, I got, I got that from a friend What a friend. And now I can't give too much specifics about where I got it because nobody is allowed to take this stuff out of there. That's, that's why it is so cool. It's like forbidden. And my brother worked in cost accounting at one point and, um, they dispose of a lot of stuff. They say shred, like promotional photography and that kind of thing. So I may or may not have some of that. <laughs> Nobody knows who my brother is, so I guess it's safe to say. But but yeah, and I've got, um, I just actually sold a prototype plush that I had. He wasn't very exciting to me. And then I have a map of the park that is from the year I was born, just for sentimental reasons. And a couple more little weird things, but, oh, I have the actual blueprints for Big Thunder Ranch, the actual blueprints that they used while they were doing it. There's some copies out there, but I got, I got the real ones. I got the real ones. Yeah, I am from Southern California. Yep, for sure. Love Disney. Okay, a couple more things, and I got to get down to the booth. Oh, I wanted to look this guy up. So I grabbed him, well, because he's cute and cute sells, and he was $2.99, which I wish he was 99 cents, but he was not. So he does have a mark that says 1994 Cor Corlet or Corlet, Corlet Collectibles. Let's see. You're going to focus, focus there. You can almost see it. Look at that. Woo. It wanted to focus. So I don't know anything about him. So let's go look. So I know he is Corlette 
not Corvette. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do there, eBay. So let me let me go to all. I do a broad search first. 86 results because I don't want to miss something. I want to see. So let's go to. Oh, thought my zebra candle holder thingy was going to end up being in there. I do not mean Corvette collectibles. I meant Corlette collectibles. I'm pretty sure it says Corlette. Yeah, look, there's a hippo sold for $30. I think the hippo kind of beats the seal on cuteness. I don't know. That's that's a tough one. Oh, so they make those little hatching egg things. Oh, you guys, look, 99 cents. Don't do this. Of course, it's coming from the Ukraine with $10 shipping. I don't know if that seller made any money. I bet you could turn around and sell that piece for $30. I bet you could. It's got the cute factor. So no seals have sold, but let me go back over to and no seal. But we've got a Yorkie 5522. Oh, that's, oh, it's just a baby ceramic seal. Yeah, okay. $29.99 it is. $29.99 it is. Actually, Nikita, you are welcome to do that. Um, you can send me an email with the item and I, can if you want to wait until it gets on the show or join the niche to profit Facebook group go over there you can go over there right now post your picture you will get all kinds of help all kinds of help because there are lots of us over there that love to research this stuff just love it love it love it love it oh the wyland actually the whale behind me is not a wyland I talked about the whale on last week's show. He is a Howard Suzuki. Um, and I did show him last week, if you want to go back and watch that replay. I just left him there to keep him safe. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, I've got one more item and then we got to get going. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What do I want to show you? You know what I want to show you? Rather than research something else, I want to give you a preview of some of the things I'm thinking of selling on Thursday. How about that? Because I can't take like picture preview and put those up. So I found a lot of my better rings, some of my Native American silver and turquoise jewelry. See, this one wants to fall out. I'm going to be selling some of this stuff and some of this stuff. There we go. Some of that. Um, I'm going to have necklaces. I'm going to have earrings. Um, but these were sitting over here. So I wanted to just give you a little teaser because I know a lot of you like the turquoise and I am starting bidding at $1 again. $1 bidding starts. I've got some Zuni pieces in here. Maybe just one Zuni piece, but yeah. Yeah, I'm teasing you. So those for sure are going to be sold this Thursday. And then uh, I moved all the other stuff all over. It's all over. I got cool stuff. Yeah. All right. Any last questions, guys? Oh, you are so welcome, LA fashion scene. Tetsubin. Mm -hmm. Those things sell really good. They're teapots. They're cast iron teapots for those wondering. And they bring really, really, really good money. Yep. It's going to be 1 o'clock on this Thursday. This coming Thursday. The date is the 10th. The 10th. I just realized I am flying on the 11th. It's all good, right? I'm not going very far. Yes, enjoy the rest of your holiday day. It's a work day for me. <laughs> the only pressure is I don't have to do the shipping. 
I will still do the shipping tonight. I'm still going to do the shipping tonight because I want to schedule my pickup for tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank, thank you. Thank you for subscribing if you haven't already. And, uh, oh, I'm so glad you caught, caught it live. Yeah, I, I know. It's, it's, it's tough to pick a time that works for, for everyone. Um, but I think this time has worked really, really well for the most part. Yeah. You are so welcome, you guys. I really, really love being able to have this platform to help as many people as possible because I want you all to be so massively successful in this business. And we can, and this is the time, you know, if, if anything good was to come out of this season we're in with Cousin Rona, you know, kind of taking camp, is that the online business world is going to boom. I mean, it's booming, but it's going to boom because people have now been trained to shop online. People now, more of them know about eBay than ever before. And eBay is actually being smart about their marketing in two ways, in letting people know that, hey, whatever you want to find, you can find it on eBay in this time when stuff is closed and all the boutiques are closed and the small businesses are, are struggling. eBay is small business and they're making that message known for those people who are not really wanting to do the big corporate Amazon or Walmart thing. They say eBay is small business. We are small business. So I love that they're sending that message. Love it. I personally have been really irritated with Amazon lately. I've been doing more looking on eBay for things because I honestly don't even know what I'm paying for with my prime membership. Don't get me going on that. <laughs> eBay is going to get better. I have a little insider info that I can't share. I promise not to share, um, but they're making some cool changes here. They should be announcing those in um, third, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. They announced the seller update. I already got a sneak peek. Nothing bad is happening. Let me just say that. So there's nothing to be nervous about with the upcoming seller release. It's all good stuff. They are working really, really hard to make eBay the absolute best platform to sell on. <laughs> I have to giggle at that question. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it would not even be a vacation if I didn't get to go thrifting and shopping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's what I live for. That's what I live for. That's why I love this business so much. So much. Yeah. Going back to the antique mall that I went to last time and found some amazing things at. I'm going to like do a little bit, dig in a little deeper this time with more time. Yep. Yep. Lots of shipping videos out there. There'll be another one up tomorrow. Yep. Okay, guys. I will see you all on Thursday at 1 p.m. If you can be here for the live sale. Everything's going to start at a dollar. And if you spend $25 or more, it'll be free shipping. I, that was not hard to do either. I'm going to sell a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff you can make money on. Bringing, I'm bringing four suitcases. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.